Hey YouTubers, today I've got a quick uh, brew that I'm batching, a uh, batch that I'm brewing up. It is a um, Mangrove Jacks Blonde Lager. I've got uh, 400 grams of two row Pilsner and 200 grams of wheat uh, grains uh, in the um, pot on the stove. It's uh, on a rolling boil and that's going for 30, uh, 25 minutes and it's been 11 so far. Oh. Pardon? And I've got uh, New Zealand lager brew sugar. I've got USO5 yeast and I'm going to dry hop it, I'm not sure exactly what with yet, probably, I would say either Centennial or Cascade, probably Cascade at this stage. So, let's, uh, let's get back to it soon as. Okay, so I've got a clothes bag and that's it. 66 Celsius, which my temperature range I'm looking for is between uh, 65 and 75. So I'm going to dump these grains in here. actually do it with another litre of water in there, to be fair. And I know it's probably going to be frowned upon by you all, but uh, I'm going to do it. This is the first time I've added grains in this way, so do forgive me if I'm doing this wrong. But it's not covering the, all the grains. And there it is. There we go. 70 degrees. 25 minutes and I'll come back. Hey, we've just about done with the uh, boil. It's got about three minutes to go. And I thought in the meantime, I've sterilized my fermenting vessel. I've got my, uh, my Mangroves Jacks um, dry lag uh, blonde lager all set to go. So what I thought I might do is uh, empty this. Oh, it's got a tear. Empty this into the fermenter. This uh, mangrove jacks. 
Now I have a feeling that this is going to be too hot because it's it's getting pretty warm temperatures around here at the moment. We need to Okay, I think that should be done. Yep. Take that off the heat. And we'll put this camera back up here. So you can see what's going on. Oh shit. Okay. Now, our brain bag can come up, take that off the heat. Now, you do not squeeze your grain bag. And that'll do. It's not really going to matter a, a couple of dribbles. Now, what I want to do... because I'm greedy. That's my second kilo of Lager room sugar. Didn't even hardly clump up at all. It did a wee bit, but it's dissolved. It's dissolved fairly quick. Now I could have added the extract into this, but I wanted to um, do it this way. Okay. And 
to the fermenting vessel we go with our steeped grains and our brew sugar. And there we have it. What I'll now do is transfer that over to there and pour that in there. Now, temperature it's a little bit easier to keep an eye on the temperature up here actually if I the camera is a pain in the backside, but uh, we get there. smell the, the Pilsner grains and the wheat grains even though there's only half the amount of wheat grains as there is uh, to uh, what is it two row Pilsner I had to get my brew shop guy to write it down yeah 400 grams of two row Pilsner 200 grams of wheat grains and he crushed them for me for free which is always handy and I found it. It was only like 450 a kilo ground for all the different grains he had. He had two row crystal 60, crystal 40. Also, I, I mean, I don't think he had crystal 40. I had he had crystal 60, and he had wheat and oh, a few different ones. Big shout out to Jared, who. Uh, Runs uh, your shout shop in Linwood, and uh, I'm one of his happy customers. His father used to run it, and uh, now he runs a. His father, uh, Paul, runs a, uh, a tavern, a pub. So he's moved to, moved on a wee bit. What temperature are we at? We're still at 32. So, like I thought, I may actually, I may, before I pitch the yeast, I may need to uh, 
I may need to cool this wood down a bit. And it doesn't bloody hurt. There's different schools of thought on it. Some people say, oh no, you don't do that. You pitch the yeast as soon as you possibly can. Well, in my opinion, as soon as I can means as soon as the temperature's right. I don't know, I could be wrong. What we're going to do... is we are going to... In the sink. Because it's too hot. It's too hot to uh, especially in this bloody weather I'll kill the yeast if I pitch in that. Oh it's coming down already, it's at 30. really wants to be 20 or 22 so I won't bore you with waiting for this we'll get on with the cooling it down and then I'll pitch the yeast in a minute well probably about a quarter of an hour and okay we've got our temperature down to 25 degrees Celsius which is uh, 77 Fahrenheit which is good enough we'll do the job so now we're going to, if we can find it, oh, oh there it is, we're going to pitch a US05 yeast. Now I got this kit cheap because it's best before date is the 5th, uh, January, February, March, May 2013, May last year, okay? So the yeast is probably dead. The wort will last for years. And I got it. it cost me, uh, I got 25% discount. So instead of 20 bucks, it was 15. Which is all good because I don't use the yeast that comes in them anyway. I use um, USO5 for just about everything. But just a minute. Oh, once again, forgot to do a gravity reading, but that's okay, we'll do it now. It doesn't matter that it's got a bit of yeast in it, and we'll see what this, what this tastes like. They always turn around the wrong way. Oh, it's not too high. It's 1.052. Oh my god, that's awesome. Wow. It's going to be a bloody nice beer when it's done. this puppy off. Put that in there. Take a reading with just water in to make sure it's still accurate. Yep, zero. Well, that's pretty much 
much it. What do I do now? Just put the lid on. Oh no, put the airlock in first because it's a real tight fitting airlock. And in case I push the grommet through. Oh shit, just about too far. That's it. Done. Like a dog's done. Oh, I suppose I could put just a, a touch of... Uh, Here we go. Done. Cheers and 17.